have tried many a times to cook a chicken tikka masala and I will say many times have failed. Really, this so... is... I'm, I'm doing a really, really simple version. So, pan, oil, basics of any curry, garlic, ginger paste, straight in there. Let's turn that up. Need to hear a sizzle, surely. Sizzle, fizzle, mcwizzle. Yeah, right, so we've got ginger and garlic straight in there. Yeah. And then onion. And this is the base of any really good curry. You just quite a lot of oil in there. So you're, so you're using quite a, you're covering the whole bottom of the pan, so yep. not just a little bit. No. Okay. But this is going to feed what four people, yeah, five yeah, people, yeah. so it'll be fine. Is it? Do your uh, your children now, when you bake, yeah. and you've got all your cake stands there, um, they uh, they'll walk past because they're sort of completely non plus now. Couldn't care less. Really? Just, like, they go right past because. There are times when they've done something and I've cooked it and I'm supposed to take a photo of it and they eat it. I'm like, guys, I was supposed to take a picture of that. Where's it all gone? So now they never go near it. They're like, just in case, just mummy in loses case. it. It's like, mummy's going to lose it. She's like, <laughs> she needs to take a picture first. Fair enough. So, right, so you put some salt, that was that, uh, salt or sugar? Salt. 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 Tomato puree. Yeah. yeah. Straight in, give that a mix. And then let that cook down five, ten minutes. And then I'm going to add the spices because you've got to cook the spices out first. And I think that's why lots of lots of people are af afraid of cooking right. curries because spices need cooking out. And then when you can taste that gritty spice in your mouth, yeah, they're like, mm, have I done that and properly? Because you haven't cooked it out. So how long do you have to cook it for? In just order? A, just a few minutes, and you know the spices have cooked out when you get that colourful oil, that red oil that comes ah. to the top. That's when you know. Is that what that is? Yeah, that's what? when you know so your spices. I didn't know that. What spices are you putting in? So curry powder and some garam masala which are like spice mixes and they're really good, two really good to put together. Mm -hmm. Just so you don't have like hundreds of spices, yeah. especially if you're not a confident curry cooker. Yeah. Um, just mix those through. And they literally, five, ten minutes, and then add the chicken. And again, just cook that till we get to, love the magic of telly, look at that. I know, ta -da. No, done. Right, just mix that through and then we get it to this stage, okay. which is... So it's kind of gone all sticky and lovely and yeah. yummy. Yeah, so you can see it's gone translucent, the onions have cooked down, the chicken's got all that lovely spice around mm, it. It's, it smells amazing. And then, <laughs> bless you. You make me sneeze. Spice oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the tomato soup. Yes, what? that's right. Yeah, right. Yes, what well, I wasn't expecting Can that. I get over there? Right, so... So this is a tin of... A tin of? Tin of tomato soup. And you know, you, with the tikka masala, everyone gets that lovely, bold red colour. Yeah. And that's usually food colouring when you go to a restaurant. Right. And what I want to... I love food colouring if you're doing a cake or mm -hmm. something fun or a rainbow cake or something. That's great. But I wanted to add something that gives you sweetness as well. And yeah. tomato soup has that natural sweetness. Yeah. So I'm going to add that straight in there. Look, red already. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I love food colouring. <laughs> and then... That is genius, isn't it? A little bit of water. And then literally stick a lid on that, 30 minutes, gently. Are you joking? And that's it? That's it. That is it. But that's while that cooks... really clever. While that cooks, I'll get this on. And this is a really quick, easy way of making rice. OK. Now, I think, again, rice is one of those things... I can't cook rice. Can you not? I'm used to that. Easy peasy. So I'm, this is a recipe for a basmati rice, which is, I think, the easiest rice to cook. Yeah. Um, so you to literally pop that straight in a pan. And the trick is... You add the water till... I just shake the pan. And just add the water till it's about three-quarters of an inch mm -hmm. high. So I just stick my Above the rice. Above the rice. That's it. So that's about right. And everyone's got different finger sizes, so that's why I'm saying three-quarters of an inch. Um, OK. Because usually it's sort of about there. So that's about right. And then you literally just turn that on. No lid? Nothing. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it boil. And then when all the water's disappeared, turn it on low heat, put the lid on and let it steam. That is it. Oh, for how long? For about two minutes, three okay. minutes. That is it. Simple what as that. that. OK, that's yeah. very good. That's so, good. And if you didn't want to have rice for this, are there any alternatives that you could... Oh, you could... I mean, I, I quite like cold curry straight out of the fridge. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> the next morning, I've yeah. known to maybe Straight out of the have fridge. I quite like it on a crispy pitta. Yeah, that's quite Ew. nice. Too. Yeah. Oh, couscous. Oh. Quite nice with couscous as couscous. well. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I don't so. Like couscous. So look, I don't like Do you not? Know? Like you don't like eggs either. I like. Uh, no, I don't, don't like. like the, I don't like the white of an egg. Oh. Couscous should just be packaging. It shouldn't be. <laughs> okay. So this. Ah, did you see that talking okay. about? Do you see that? Yeah. You see that little colourful kind of red oil? Yeah. That means that the spice is cooked out. Well, that I never knew. That is so a great you know. thing to know. Yeah. So we leave that, let that cook. We've got lots happening. We've got some down okay. there. Right. 
Let's have a look. Let's I don't want look. mine to burn here. I've been working quite hard on that. Look at that. And look at that. And that is that beautiful red colour that you're talking about. And yeah. that's tomato soup. Did you discover that by accident? Or no, you... I, it was it's what I do. It's what I do at home when I was with the kids, and I loved having the kids' friends over and stuff. I do it a lot less now, but I, I used to love having them over. But when somebody says to me, "My kid won't eat this," mm. I'm like, right. "Right." It's like challenge. a challenge to me. I'm like, I will. I will make your child eat it. I promise. I will find a way. Let's get some rice on. Thank you very, very much it indeed. Doesn't look beautiful. I'm... Mm. See, I know I didn't do cake, but I did bring you cake today. Did you? I did. I did. Oh, we've only got 15 seconds left now. I don't oh know where goodness. that's gone. We'll find it. Don't worry. Quickly, I'm go, go, go. In. I'm go in, go in, go in. I can't not. Mm. It's mm. amazing. Would you make it? Mm. Yeah, mm. good. How amazing is that? I love it. And it doesn't I taste like it. tomato soup, right? No, no, no way. You can't touch that. Yay! Oh, delicious. Mm. Give me that. Okay, you have that.